Uh, hi, my name is Patricia, this is Bana, and we're from Deutsche Wohnen Co. Eignen, which is a movement which managed to win a referendum for the expropriation of 250,000 houses. <laughs> so just in terms of terminology, uh, and Eigen is expropriate and Deutsche Wohnen is one of the big corporations. Um, let me start with a question. So who of you is paying rent? Okay, uh, then you're just like 85% of Berliners who are tenants as well. And 85% of Berliners are affected by the housing crisis because the rents, they have doubled over the last 10 years. Um, and why is that? It's because these few large corporations own a very big amount um, of houses, tens of thousands, hundreds of, hundreds of thousands, and it gives them a lot of power over the market because they can increase the rents if they want to generate more profits. Um, but the Berliners, they didn't just accept that, they started to form renters' movements, um, basically demanding that our rents, our houses, they should be a safe place. It should not be something to be speculated with. And on the back of all these different renters' movements, Deutsche Wohnen Quent Eignen arose um, with an idea, with a proposition. But what was the original proposal of the re referendum. The idea was to expropriate all those companies who own more than 3,000 apartments, which is a lot. No one needs these many apartments. And they would not be nationalized, so it would not be the government who would be in charge, but rather the people who live there, the workers and the citizens, it would be democratically controlled. And all of this is not some invention, no one like made it, made it up out of thin air, but it's based on Article 15 of the German Constitution. And Article 15 also says that uh, these corporations need to be compensated based on a consideration of common good. And it's never been used before. Like yeah, yeah, it's never been used never before been in used history. Before. Um, this is a bit of the timeline, because in order to do a referendum in Berlin, you need to go through different steps of collecting signatures. Um, each time we collected many more than were required and we were able to hold the referendum in September 20, 2021. But let me show you how we got there. So um, the collecting the signatures was tough because it was during the pandemic, um, but we had a kind of like interesting structure where we had so-called Keats team, Keats teams, which are decentralized entities who work in their district, in their neighborhood. Because they know best like how the people are there, which houses have been sold, what are the issues. And they would collect signatures just in their area. Like for instance me, I was collecting signatures around here in Kreuzberg because that was my kids team. And as you can see, uh, we had this very like recognizable vests with the purple and the yellow um, and we would be present all over the city. People would approach us and they would see us and oh, okay, you're the guys with the rents, with the expropriation. We've already noticed you. We had banners, as you know, we have also a very like prominent merch. Um, <laughs> and there's like another Keats team. They were all over the city, not just in the city center, but also like in the outer districts um, because all of Berlin is suffering from the rent crisis. Um, we also had these posters which basically say, damit Berlin unser Zuhause bleibt, so that Berlin stays our home. Because one of the biggest issues is that people have to move away because of gentrification and rising rents. And so the day came in June 2021 that we handed in around 350,000 signatures. And at this point, it made us the most successful referendum in Berlin because no other referendum had handed in these many signatures. So that was a great success, but then the next step was how do we get, how do we get people to vote yes? Um, so the campaigning started. Uh, we would basically talk to people at their houses, at the doorsteps, in the streets, trying to convince them to vote for yes. Trying to also fight against all the fake news that was like being spread about us. We also had a newspaper to make the information a bit more accessible to people who don't use social media and to break it down. 
um, another kids team, they were they would be everywhere. Everyone would like the whole city was being purple and yellow. Like you have to imagine, like literally at every corner, someone would be trying to talk to people. Um, also, the posters hanging at every corner, and we also had a bus which would <laughs> drive to events, support us there, and also with our slogan and with the date of the election. Mm. We also, still to this day, we have a cheerleading team that supports us at <laughs> rallies, at protests. Um, and yeah, we, we ended up winning the election, which was crazy because everyone said we wouldn't be able to. And we won with an incredible 59.1%, which is more than one million vo like, votes. And it was a big, a moment of big euphoria, a big win. It was basically the people of Berlin, the renters, winning against these big corporations. And we couldn't believe it. And from all over the world, people started to look at Berlin because something like this has never happened. Um, and you're probably wondering what happened afterwards. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for rushing, maybe. Um, and this is the first time for me speaking in English about this. Like, usually I'm doing in German, like Germans do. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I tried to part it up somehow. Um, a lot of things happened after we win. And this is the parliamentary part of the story since 21. Like, on this day, we had not only the election about us, it was more like we had the election in whole Germany for the new parliament. We had also the election in this town in Berlin for the new um, government and also us. And uh, so we had this new stuff between SPD, the, uh, the how do you say, like the social democratics in Germany, uh, the Greens and the left, uh, this, begin to talk to each other about everything and also about us. And we had a little bit of trust in them um, and we get fooled, like don't talk to authorities. Um, maybe this is what we should learn from you guys. Um, in December, they had this, this great idea of uh, doing this expert commission stuff, like what is expert commission? A lot of people should talk about us and how to handle with this referendum, how to handle with all these things, like we get fooled by them. Um, and in March 22, the campaign sent, sent three of um, our own experts in this fold. We had a lot, of, a lot of discussions about this. Should we do that? Should we be more radical? Should we talk to them? And we decided to talk with the parliamentary people um, and this export commission is gonna be um, it worked for one year and it will be ends in May and like there we will have this answer like is it possible to do this or is it not and I can just say it is possible I'm sure about that and they will um, send like a paper um, and we have to wait for this and then we will see what the people of the government will do for us but I'm not sure about this Okay, but the organizing part of the story, like the individual Keats teams, like a Keats team, like you said, are teams in this district. And before they had like the, the um, idea of getting more and bigger and bigger and bigger, but then we had the problem like, what should they do? Like everything was just now part and work of the, of the government. And what was our part in this story? We tried uh, to do our best with organizing for this. Um, for this um, city. Um, we help renters to organize themselves and now we have this project um, to organizing in two neighborhoods in Berlin with paid positions. And this is a picture of the first meeting, like you see it was more like 100 people coming to this event talking about how to organize themselves. They're all living like in one building. It was just one building. And this is what we're really trying for, to make these people believe in themselves. Like it's possible if you stay together, if you hold together and if you have hope, we can reach a lot of things. But this, believe me, most of these people, they never get in touch with activism. They are not activists if, you, if you're asking them, but I'm sure they are. And just let us do this way for one or two years. Um, things will change.
And this is the fun part, what we're doing since 21. Like, we're a really strong team. We are friends of each other. We become, became friends in the last two, three years. I mean, if you have to if you have to fight against a lot of people, you have to stay strong together. Otherwise, you can't do it. Like you said, joy is everything. Um, and we organized this conference with more than 800 visitors. We wrote a book about this topic. Like, it's just only in German, like Germans do. But hopefully, <laughs> you will have this translation if you're interested in this topic. We had this kids team tour, like, um, it was a tourney through a uh, whole Berlin every month another district with another thing. Like we had this carnival last month in Kreuzberg. It was a big thing. We had a lot of stuff. It is so, it's, it's, it's cool. It's really cool to be part of DVE. Um, and we organized countless events in Demos to inform the city community. Um, for example, this one, this is Vonovia. Um, the headquarter in Bochum, we visited them. Bochum is next to the Netherlands border. So. We had this trip with like 50 of us just to go there and demonstrate in front of them. We have, for example, this queer group of DVE. We're going to all these prides and just make sure that every, everyone here our, uh, <laughs> yeah. this is how it goes. For example, this is our pictures of this carnival we had. <laughs> um, yeah, this is what we're doing. And we, at this moment, um, we have a lot of discussions about how to go on. Like, we're losing hope in this government, but we're not losing hope in ourselves. So maybe we have to, um, to take another strategy, another kind of working with the people on the street, going back to the street maybe. We have, yeah, we will get our point and I'm sure you will hear a lot about us in the next few years.